And welcome back to ATVN. The USC men's basketball team saw their season come to a heartbreaking end last night after an 82-78 loss to the Baylor Bears in the second round of the NCAA tournament. Though USC had been known as the come-from-behind team throughout the tournament, unlike SMU and Providence, a second-half surge from Baylor put an end to the Trojans' Sweet 16 hopes. The Bears were led by Jonathan Motley, who had 19 points and 10 rebounds, but it was point guard Manu LeConte who drove it home for Baylor, scoring 8 points in 45 seconds to put the Bears on top late in the second half. While four Trojans scored in double digits, it was not enough to come back and take the game. And even after the buzzer blew on that one, USC fans continued their own post game on social media, taking to Twitter to express both heartbreak and hope for the future. This tweet from the AP's Kurt Voigt perfectly captured all USC fans with a picture of the ever smiling Tommy Trojan in a rare vulnerable moment, taking a minute to soak in the loss. While this tweet from director of scouting Martin Bahar chose to look back on the season's brighter sides, mentioning the team's record 26 wins, 13 of which were come from behind, and their back-to-back -back tournament appearances. And in the spirit of looking back on the season, what better way to close to honor the close of USC's basketball season than to dish out a few end-of-year most and least likely awards? First up is my personal favorite, the award for team's best tweeter. That honor goes to junior guard Elijah Stewart, who is never afraid to speak his mind, at least online. Take a look at some of his season's best, tweeting about everything from his love life to girl advice, post-game commentary, and even a few words of wisdom he's gathered along the way throughout his 21 long years. Next up, I am honoring one player's style on the court, but not in the way you might be thinking. Benny Boatwright is known for three things, his height, his uncanny ability as a big man to hit threes, and his ever-changing hair. As this season's most likely to change up his hairstyle, Benny rocked both the braids and the faux fro in the span of three different games. And finally is the least likely to hit a three, heading home with big man Chemezi Metu. The sophomore forward was just one of two from beyond the arc, as compared to counterpart Benny Boatwright, who attempted more than 153s this season. And with the end of USC's tournament one, fans will now be looking to the roster to see if core players Metu and Boatwright will decide to stay another year or declare for the NBA. And tossing it from one court to the field, the World Baseball Classic is quickly coming to a close. Our sports correspondent Aaron Glazer is on hand at Dodger Stadium. Aaron? Baseball's World Cup. It happens once every four years between 16 countries. Countries that have been playing for the last two weeks at stadiums all around the world from Seoul to Tokyo and Miami, San Diego, but it all ends this week right here in Los Angeles. Where the teams again tonight, Xander Bogarts of the Boston Red Sox will lead Team Netherlands against Carlos Correa of the Houston Astros and Team Puerto Rico. The winner of tonight's game plays the winner of tomorrow night's game between the USA and Japan on Wednesday night right here at Dodger Stadium for all the marbles. Now, the WBC is a little bit different than traditional baseball. Because of that country-like nationalistic atmosphere, the fans are louder, they're more emotional, as you can hear some of the music behind me that's native to these countries. The fans just get a bit more into it, and the players create a very unique atmosphere. Something else that's unique about it is that players can join teams a little bit later. So for all you Dodger fans out there, pitcher Kenley Jansen is joining Team Netherlands tonight. Now, he is expected to play so again, for you Dodger fans, make sure to catch him out there. We'll see how he does as well as both the Netherlands and Puerto Rico in tonight's exciting semifinal. But for now, for Annenberg Media from Dodger Stadium, I'm Aaron Glazer.